Hey guys, Lucas here from Vintage Surplus, and today we're going to go over my favorite backpack. Alright, so what we got here is an Eagle Industries Beaver Tail backpack. Now this is probably, it is my favorite little backpack. Um, it's a 24 hour backpack, so it's great for patrols or day hikes and all that in between. Um, it's feature packed, and we're going to go through those. We're going to start with the very front and move all the way to the back side. So starting at the front. We got a good pocket right here that's got a two-way zipper on it that's about a large IFAC size. So you can fit a large IFAC, obviously, night vision. Anything you need to get to quickly can fit right in here. On the front of that pocket, you've got some webbing loops. Now you can attach D-rings, anything you need right there, or some uh, shot cord and have a good tight area to put you know, bulky items on the front. Um, if you buy an aftermarket one of these, they won't have these webbing loops. It'll have a hook and loop field for patches. Um, so yeah, uh, above this front pocket, you have a small zipper pocket. That's great for like essentially a little admin pouch. Um, that's good for small items, pens, notebooks, stuff like that. Uh, it's a good little pocket. Now moving from there, you have some buckle straps right here that are adjustable to cinch down. And you have a pretty cool mesh compartment. Now in this mesh compartment, you can fit a whole helmet. So it's pretty big and it expands out. Um, and it's the mesh lets it, you know, if it gets wet in there, it can just, you know, drip that water out. Um, it's good for jackets, tarps, uh, blankets, helmets, anything like that. And on the inside, you have webbing loops, so you can secure whatever's in there. Um, on civilian the aftermarket versions, you don't have the webbing loops right there. So just know that if those are a thing you are looking for, uh, the aftermarket version will not have it there. All right, from there, we have another zipper compartment. So it's pretty much another large admin pouch for more stuff, maps, notebooks, pens, whatever need to be, flashlights. Um, this whole compartment right here straps down with buckles. They can cinch down, so whatever you have in there, or if you don't have anything in there, you can cinch it down so it's not flopping everywhere. All right, from there, we have our main compartment, a big old two-way zipper, and you have a main compartment that can fit a 100-ounce bladder and a little bit of everything else. Um, you can fit an ASIP radio if you're in the military, and a 117 Fox will fit in here as well. Um, you can fit a whole other 5590 battery underneath your ASIP. So you can run a, you can use this RTO pack for day trips, um, and it works out pretty well. Um, there's a removable stiffener in a zipper compartment. So if you don't need a stiffener, you can take it out. And you have your mesh compartment for your bladder. Going from there, you have three ports for hydration bladder hoses. You have one on each side right here with elastic bands to hold it down secure. And you have one on top. So you have three different ways to get cables, hydration bladder uh, hoses out, and everything like that. So yeah. From there, we'll move to the sides. On each side, you have a small zipper pocket. That's great for you. You can fit a whole magazine in there and everything else you need to as well. So anything else you need to get to quickly uh, is right there. Behind that zipper compartment is a slot. And that slot is big enough for a whole other magazine. So you can have magazines stashed around the edges too, or knives or whatever else you need to. And there is one on each side. All right, now let's move to the back. Now on the back, you got two shoulder straps that are padded and adjustable. They're also removable. So you can take these padded shoulder straps off and now you can molly this to the back of your kit. So that leaves you with a good fixed backpack on the back of your kit if you need be. And if you don't need it, you can put the shoulder straps back on and it'll fit over your kit just fine. So you have two ways to wear this and both ways are good to go. It just depends on what you need to do. On the bottom, you got more cinch straps. So this mesh compartment can get cinched down all the way, leave it flat you're not having to deal with it hanging out if you're not using it. So yeah, that's a quick overview of the Beaver Tail backpack. So hey, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is definitely an awesome backpack uh, for a lot of different uses. I've used them pretty heavily. Um, if you have one, let us know below what you think, any mods you've done to them, because I know there's a little bit here and there you probably could do to them. And uh, make sure to head on to richardsurplus.com, check them out over there, and check out all the other Eagle Industries gear we've got, and subscribe to your email list while you're there.